All right, folks. Rolling Perry City Forest, Bangor Parks and Recreation. No camping, so this is it. And we're gonna take a walk. There's a lot of trails. Just FYI, city property. <laughs> the homeless do. Why can't I? Which way are we going? All right. I'll show you on this map real quick. Like you, you said you just want to do the fog walk, right? Yeah. All right. So we're just going to go right down here. Okay. But this is the fog walk. We've done all this, like walking. It, it's kind of fun. Some of them, it's pretty neat. Cool. Loop road, squirrel trail, moose. All right. So we're going to do the fog walk. Let's go. All right. If you want to read this, hit pause. And you can read down through it. And here we go. This is the bog walk. This is Orono. Yeah, uh, Bangor, yeah. Bangor, no area, yep. So come on down and check it out, people. It's got even got handrails for the little ones. It's like 3,000 of these things. Sections. Nice little spot to sit and read. Like I say, pause it if you want to take and See everything. Super cool. I would not have wanted to be on the the crew that put these poles in. Yeah, a bit of a pain in the ass. Well, I've, I've done pretty much the same thing when I was doing fencing. We had a property that was by the ocean. She wanted her whole entire property mm -hmm. fenced in. So we're out in the middle of woods like this. You had to cut a trail and then pound right. the poles. <coughs> so there's lots to do and main you just got to get out there and find it this is my first time on this so that's a fun boat it's like walking and look at the hand way over there definitely lots of vegetation it opens up the night how long is this um I don't remember. It's not, it's not super long. And goes in a circle? Yeah, like you're on a straight part right now and then it goes out to a teardrop and comes back to this. They use the right material so they don't rot. But I'm wondering about these poles, how long those are going to last in the... Yeah, some of them might rot. I don't know how many poles I've dug up, metal detecting that are toasted. Some more information. Bet you everybody that's ever hunted in the state of Maine knows about them. Oh yeah. They sound like a big buck coming through the woods. No, no, that's a car right up next to you. And goes, it's like ratting you out, kind of. Mm -hmm.
I will say gray squirrel is tasty. Dude, when I, I made a stew and it and it tasted like chicken stew. Yeah, I mean it'd have to be in a survival situation. I'll I'll be making it soon and I'll give you some and let you try it. And then you'll change your mind. After I You no you really will. I mean you did think it was chicken stew, to be honest with you. It was great. Sure, you make me some squirrel but you won't give me no freaking smoked chicken. I see how it is. <laughs> You should have came over and had some smoked chicken. You are entering the Highland Tract owned by the University of Maine, member of the University of Maine system and conserved by since 2010 by a conservation easement held by the Orno Land Trust. And that's your exit. Here we go. See, this is the way you come back. There's 509 of these. And we are at 107. There's all kinds of. Those are ostrich ferns, I think. Yeah, there's skunk cabbage, there's uh, a pitcher plant, which is really cool. I think it might be past its prime, but they'll be mostly out here in the open. Things you do on a rainy day. It's a pretty nice walk. Imagine if it wasn't all wet out like it is today, it would be yeah, super sometimes nice. Sometimes it gets a little packed. You know, like if you stop to look, you know, you get like seven people trying to pass you. And... So I guess we chose a good day. It goes a little birdie. Some of them feel a little flexible. Yeah. Some of them are flexible. Yes, sir. Yep. They can stay right there, too. I hate blueberries. I do not. I raked, I raked them for too many years, and I just don't like them anymore. Station 3, up, Upland Island. Conifer forest with some broad-leaved trees. Bunch of berries. Those, those right there, you fill your blueberry box with. They didn't, they don't, they didn't care because they sort them out at the factory. But look, all the blueberries are. Mm. I'm surprised there's blueberries. I'm surprised people haven't picked them all. Yes, I mean it's pretty soft down there. Some stuff. Because you are pretty much floating. Yeah, down by my grandfather's, my dad took me, they called it the heath, and it was all moss and roots on top of water. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't know how to walk through there correctly, you could fall through and you, it's hard yep. to get back out, you could drown. But, yeah, I mean, you really can't drown in this. I'm sure there's, couple, like, there's a thing up here that measures how deep the water is. Right, well down there, it was like, yeah, well, like, sure it's a lot like eight to 10 feet of water underneath five feet of moss. Yep. So if you don't walk in the right spot, you have to go through. And my dad took me through there deer hunting. And I had to follow right behind him in the, just the right spot because he knew how to walk through it. And uh, we went all the way through it. And then once we got through, we sat down. He racked in a deer. First time he ever called in a deer with antlers. Mm -hmm. The deer came in. I had trigger finger mittens on. And when I went to shoot the deer, the mitten got caught in the hammer of the gun and didn't let the gun go off and it scared the deer. Oh, it was my first chance at a deer. All right. Station four. Wooded shrub heath. Low shrubs, scattered dwarf spruces, and uh, tamaracks. So, once again, pause it if you want to check all the stuff out in closer detail. Cool. Some bald rosemary.
in memory of B. Wheatland. Now this is cool. I set my tree stand right there. And we have some pitcher plants. Oh, look at them. Got a little water in them. And the bugs go in there and they eat the bugs. That's cool. All kinds of them. Those ones look like they're dying. Oh, you can see them all through. And that. I just want to take a we'll go investigate this dude. Well, we're at 60% battery, so we should make it. I have to turn it off now and then because if you don't, it, the, for some reason these GoPros like to heat up when they're running for long periods of time. Yeah, I know. Well, the, when I switched from the 8 to the 11, it changed drastically. Like, um, I have winter batteries, so when I was out ice fishing, they didn't just die on me all the time. Mm -hmm. I think I see it over there. Oh, yeah. oh. Platform. So it's fun, man. This is a pretty cool walk. I ain't never been out here. I'll definitely have to come back again. Yeah, good place to bring the kids. Come back to different seasons. Yeah, they don't do it during the winter. Did they lock it so you can't? Yeah. Uh, that would be cool. Pretty sure. That'd be cool to try to suffer my way through this in the winter. Snow this deep. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. I'm surprised they don't. I mean, people could ski this. We did have a problem with vandalism. Some people broke quite a few of these. What, didn't it used to be regular wood? Um, at one point, I think, yeah. Those pitcher plants are cool. I, you don't really see those in a lot of places. No, and they're different designed for this place, places like this. Well, that one's got like a roof. Who is it with the crows following us around? They're hoping we don't make it so they can eat us. They're neat little flowers. Mm. Station five. Mosaic of moss lawns and wooded shrub heath hummocks. Looks like a bleeding heart. Geez, you could get your blueberries and your, oh, look at blueberries right there. Nice. You can get your blueberries and cranberries out here. Alright, we're gonna walk to the next station. No. You can pretty much see it. It's all the same. Oh, we got some people following us.
I mean, and this is wheelchair accessible too. Yeah. We good because uh, you know people in wheelchairs they can't get a lot of places. The only problem with that is like if we're in the beginning, both entrance and an exit. This is only one way. Right. But when you get to the beginning, it's like an entrance and exit. It's kind of complicated. Have some wheelchair there. Wonder what those pipes are. I think for water, one of them should be like a, a gauge up here to sort of keep the water in. Let's see if it's pretty wet. And if you step out there, you will sink a little. Maybe they did that on purpose so that because it was soft, so if somebody fell off, they wouldn't go. Oh. Stay on the boardwalk. Hydrological research stations, seasonal pool, and mosaic of moss, lawns, and wooded shrub heath hummocks. I have seen a few snowshoe hares out here. Got a video of one. Well, that's the water gauge. It says the floating pipe depth water gauge. The inner pipe floats with its bottom a consistent depth below the water surface. As the water level changes, the inner pipe moves up or down relative to the well. So what's that, four feet? Yeah. Uh, four inches. Four feet. Oh, it says inches. Oh, inches, yeah. Cool. Four inch. We're gonna head this way. Something. It's funny. Hi! That was dumb. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, I was out of sit in the house today or do something and I didn't want to sit in the house. Like I used to play Xbox all the time and now it's like I start playing it and I just get bored. Yeah, yeah, sometimes I just <sighs> But that's why I was saying like regular Nintendo would be fun because it's so old school. Pitch a tent right there. Don't be soggy. Step up there, you know. like that moss like the old man's beard type moss mm -hmm. probably not what it is but that's what I call it yeah, I think they have a picture of it I'm surprised there's not like more deer and stuff all the way up through here yeah uh, moose moose man. And, uh, yeah I would think they would be here more than deer because deer is probably yeah, and the moose have long legs just for that. Have you ever seen one of them running down the road? Oh yeah, it looks like serious fuck. <laughs> it does. So yeah, folks, this is a pretty good place to bring your family. You can get some lunch, bring it with you, and sit at a picnic table, have a nice little picnic. Then walk this and read the information. I'm hoping to soon, as soon as the Main State Museum opens up, I want to go there to do a video. I love that place. Got another one. Uh, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. But I guess they're renovating, making a whole new spot in the main safety dam. That's why it's been closed. Another one down in uh, that whole area is, um, has like the biggest piece of meteorites and shit like that. The main yep. geology or mineral museum or something like that. They were the ones looking for the meteorite. Yeah, yeah. So, this is a pretty interesting wall. It's actually a nice temperature for this. Yeah. When we I'll first this, when we first got out at the uh, other place, it was cold. A little bit. Sixties today. Well, it's better than with the past days when we were digging those dumps and yeah, you know, you just sweat instantly. You don't even done nothing yet. And then you get you messing with dirt, so you're covered. My fingertips finally healed. <laughs> <laughs> More blueberries. They should have made a full bench. I think it's a wheelchair. Oh yeah. yeah. So you can move out of the way. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little walk. It is what it is, but there's plenty of nature in it. I don't know. I enjoy it. Especially how it changes so drastically. Like definition of keep on nature, right? Yeah. Yeah, keep on nature. I know somebody that says that a lot. What do we got here? Oh, I see a frog. Mosaic of wooded shrub, heath, and forest bog. Station 7. Station 7. That's cool. Sundew. They look like Venus fly traps. Nashville warbler. Common yellow throat, southern red backed bull, and northern leopard frog. I bet you they got sharp teeth. Maybe. I'm just kidding. <laughs> leopard frog. Cool. Bet you this looks cool like in the fall. Yeah. In different seasons, early spring. If it's even open then. Oh, there's tons. And like I said, I'm surprised people don't pick them. But it says no picking. I'm sure somebody picked a few. I bet. I'd like to build a trail like sort of like this around my property. You kind of have trails around it. Ooh. Yeah, but I want to. I want to go all the way down, back out through, and everything. I want to go from West Sentinel Road to 69. Down oh, I've done that. All right, guys. So we're back at the beginning. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was the blog walk here in Orono and Bangor Orono area. Um, look it up, check it out, and keep on naturing. Peace. <laughs>